Definitely addicted. Alrighty, folks. So, what happened to me was I had my sticks on my controller and was doing a transferring something with my drone and dropped this down with the sticks on and it ended up pushing in my right control stick and it is damaged. So, I ordered this tool kit from Cloud City Drones in Rhode Island. I also have the control arm piece here that was I think $22 American and the reason I'm making this video is because I couldn't find any other resources. See here's the piece up down. Um, it's just a simple plug. I could have took it to a cell phone place and got it fixed but uh, yeah these things are like 400 bucks Canadian on Amazon and I figure I'm gonna try fixing it myself for this this little kit which is amazing they sell that the drone plays too and yeah so anyways first thing that you have to do there's four screws you need to take out is you need to take out this control stick holder that's on the back of the drone or the remote and it's glued in so it is a little bit of a pain in the butt to get it out but you got two screws right here and then inside the lanyard holder there's two screws as well and then you have to pry it apart so I am going to time how long this actually takes me to do so you'll get an idea and this is going to be inside there so without further ado let's get it happening so it's a Phillips screw small Phillips I'm going to go with this guy oh yeah if I can get it out pretty cool little unit this is hopefully that's going to just stay in there or maybe it's not a big deal but anyways let's get at it might be a little bit bigger Phillips than this one but I was hoping that this was magnetized but oh yeah it is so there's one put it in there so I don't lose it I'm gonna try the next size up on this as a matter of fact go with this one here it might be a bit too big to fit in the lanyard holder but fits really good in there and I think they're all magnetized which is going to be ideal for putting it back together two longer screws and I think these lanyard ones are a little bit shorter oh this might be a mission yeah uh, the video I watched on YouTube of a guy doing this he had a little bit of an adventure getting these ones out too. Oh, there we go. That's biting. All right. These are much smaller screws. Easy to tell them apart. Hmm. Which one did I just take out? <laughs> there it is. There's this one. But this little uh, tool kit is friggin' amazing. It, it does everything. All right, so we've got the control sticks off. We've got the, the four screws out. Now we need a separator tool here. I got this on Amazon too. And it's basically what you would think it is, prying it apart. Just slowly, slowly working it so that you don't uh, put a bunch of scratches in it and stuff. Mm -hmm. I did just have it in there nicely and it was coming apart. There, I got it started. That's, oh, I had it started. <laughs> there we go. 
So we're just going to kind of work around here and get this popped out. There, it's starting to pop. I've never done this before, guys, so <laughs> um, I'm going off. Of, I watched a guy replace a, a uh, left control arm. It's the only other video relating to this I could find on YouTube. So hopefully this goes okay. It's mostly off and there is, I know there is a wire connector holding uh, the screen to the to the uh, back of the remote. That's it right there. So I've got that apart. You just got to be careful because as you can see there is this connector here and it's got a whole bunch of paste on it and I don't want to mess with it. All right, so I started out, I took out the wrong one. <laughs> so this is the piece that's broken, as you can see. It's the piece that goes on the back and it's, this, it's pretty much destroyed. I don't know why I didn't see that when I was taking it apart. Where's my flathead? I gotta pop that off. Let's see how it looks here. I'm looking at yellow wire goes on the end, yellow black on the far end. All right, let's see if we can pop this off of here. It shouldn't be hard. Hopefully not hard. Here we go, pop that off. Now back taking the proper arm off. <laughs> wow, you can tell I've never done this before, folks. But I hope this video helps somebody that's going through the same problem that I had. Because these things are not cheap. And uh, buying a whole new remote isn't an option for me. Like I say, 400 Canadian was the only one I could find on Amazon, and I'm certainly not doing that. Not a chance. And I think it was 100 bucks an hour to take it in and get it fixed at a phone, I've, uh, like a cell phone repair place. If I and then I would have had to buy the part as well. So, which isn't terrible, but why when I can save the money so there's the screws they're just kinda I'll pop them out here one two three and where's number four there it is he's just hanging here there's number four so here's the broken one you can see it's t like completely toast it broke in half there, my control arm's on the wrong side. It's supposed to be over there, but anyway, that's toast. New piece, all good to go. Just gonna drop her in. Let's plug her in while it's actually out. Mm, just can't see worth the crap. No, I think I'm gonna put this in first. Um. I was talking to the guy in the comments that um, whose video I watched and I guess he said to be very careful because when he put it back together he ended up pinching a wire and uh, reckon his he had to change it again I guess so I'm well, just trying to be super careful here Definitely don't want to pinch any wires there. That's in. My controller is in. Now I just need to re-screw it, put it back together, and take it for a test flight. <laughs> and see if we got her. Pretty confident that I did. If I could get my head out of the way. 
of the camera. I hope I'm not in the way. Sorry. This is my first, <laughs> my first fix it video. So. Okay. Two. Don't want to over tighten anything because you'll show they're just plastic and you'll end up breaking them. Okay. Last one. Have a quick little look here. Everything seems to be good. Just want to make sure I'm not pinching anything. Snap her back together. You can see this is the only thing that holds them together are these these clips here. One, two, three, four. On the bottom, I think there's four. One, two, three, four. There's three along each side, so we just snap them back. Snap them back. That's it. She snapped back. There's my controller. We're going to see. I know it was flashing blue here when it was broken. So over 100%, left 100%, up 100%, down, there it is. I have calibrated, I have calibrated my sticks. I have replaced, I have replaced the right control, control. So that makes me happy. I actually saved myself a bunch of money. Like I said, Cloud City drones. I think this part, the right control mechanism was like 23 bucks Canadian or American. Um, this, this kit though wasn't cheap. It was like 34 bucks for the small one, but it's a pretty quality screwdriver and just easy to change. All magnetic, so the screws all hold. And yeah. The only reason I did this video is because nobody else has ever done one on YouTube about replacing it. And yeah, that's it. I hope this helps out somebody else like uh, my friend helped his. Uh, like I said, I'll link Cloud City Drones in the description in case you need parts. And that's it. Take care. Definitely addicted.